Now let's take one more problem of arrangement of letters. How many different words can be formed by using all the letters of the word Allahabad? Now we see repetition is there. It's A, 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 three times A and two times L we are having, right? So uh, different words without any condition is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 factorial right but we have to divide by the repetition because uh, a is two three times and l is uh, two times so repetition of a is three times so we divide by three factorial then repetition of l is two times so we'll divide by two factorial right so in all these are the number of ways in which we can make different words by rearranging all the letters of the word Allahabad right so we can calculate that it's 8 into 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 it's 3 into 2 into 2 right okay so it's 5 4s are 20 23s are 60 into 56 right now uh, the next question is in how many of them walls occupy even positions so now we have like uh, eight places one two three four five six seven eight and we have uh, a vowel that is written for the three times that is a a a right so uh, we have how many places one two three and four right so we have four places two arrange these three a right so what i would do i'll select three places because we have to arrange three a's only i'll be selecting three places for three a's but since all the three a's are identical they are same so we won't be multiplying by three factorial because there will be a single possibility that is a a a a over here right so we do not see the difference if this a comes over here or this a goes over here right so we won't arrange them because it's uh, all the three a's are identical but we need to select the three places because the places are different right so we selected the three places for three a's then for the remaining uh, how do we arrange if we did, uh, take out three a's we are left with five letters that is L, 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 H, B and D, right? So, five letters can be arranged in five factorial ways, right? Further, L is repeated. So, we divide by two factorial, right? So, in all, your answer is 4C3 into five factorial by two factorial. So, 4C3 is what? 4C1. So, 4C1 into 120 by two. So, your answer will be 240 right so in 240 cases the walls will occupy even positions right <clears throat> now the next case is in how many of them both l do not come together now for that how do we approach we will take a reverse approach we will find when both the l's are together see in all the total number of arrangements were 8 factorial by 3 factorial into 2 factorial right that was 3360 we calculated right now I take this in uh, how many of them both L do not come together so first of all what I'll do I'll take both the L together right then remaining are A A H B A and D right I take this as a single letter now it's 1 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 factorial arrangement will be there divided by now this I have considered as 1 so I will not bother about uh, 2 L's are there because we have already considered them as 1 right now it's 1, 2, 3 I will divide it by 3 factorial right so uh, because A is being repeated for 3 times so these are the number of ways when both the L's are together since both of them are identical we will not take 2 factorial we will not multiply this by 2 factorial why because L L L L both the arrangement will be same whether this L come over here or whether this L come over here right so in all these are the number of ways when both the L's are together so it's what 5040 by 6 
it's 840 ways now these are the total number of ways and these are the number of ways when both the L's are together so in the remaining ways this two L's will not be together so it's 3360 minus 840 so that is 2420 right I hope you are clear